Hello YouTube, good day everybody, and uh, welcome back to DCS. Sorry, it's been a little bit of a while. Uh, we just got a new mod um, for, for DCS today, the OV-10 Bronco. Pretty awesome little airplane. Uh, obviously it's you know not super capable of, of a lot of things, but it is capable of a lot of things to some extent. But the best of all, you know, it's a target marker, recon airplane, and it's just fun to fly. Um, I've had one or two little flights on it so far, and it is absolutely a blast. Um, we'll get into it pretty easily. It is a uh, real easy aircraft to start um, with a few little tricks that I've figured out <laughs> uh, along the way. Um, so a few things that you will need to bind, which I won't show you, but you need to make sure you have your RPM throttle levers. Um, bound as well as your tow brakes because this is a differential brake uh, taxiing aircraft so that is uh, something you'll want to keep in mind um, anybody that's flown any of the uh, eastern jets you'll kind of know what, what I'm talking about um, so easy to start uh, battery power on we'll start with the left engine here and we'll go power generator and then start and then th fuel to the fire here. And okay, we'll see that one start up. And obviously being a mod, not everything works in this. You know, you just gotta be kinda tolerant of what uh, doesn't work. Um, but it's gonna do the job very well. I shot some rockets earlier. The cannon's pretty effective. Um, the smoke rockets are really accurate. I was putting targets right in the reticle. Uh, which is great for marking targets, so we can just dive in on a target when we got other aircraft in the area and say, hey, here's your target. Kind of doing the job of this aircraft was intended, so that's kind of what we're going to use it for at the Joint Helicopter Operations Group. Uh, at least we're going to test it on the server for now, um, see how it goes. Uh, I think it will become a, a pretty well fun aircraft for, for a lot of our guys to fly, so that'll be a lot of fun. All right, so that one's engine is up and stable. So one thing that I have figured out uh, before you try to start the second engine, make sure you switch back to run uh, on the first engine. Otherwise, you won't get any power to the second engine. <laughs> so that's something to keep in mind. All right, we'll go auto generator and start. And number two is starting up. The view out of this aircraft is quite good. Um, obviously, we're not in the air yet, but you can see how much how much glass there is. A um, lot of you to the you know downward, which is what this thing was bubble canopy was intended for, which is really cool. Uh, come on, engine two. What are we waiting on? Oh, <laughs> turn the fuel on. Hey, only my second time starting the aircraft up, so <laughs> give me a break. There we go. I got fuel. That will RPMs there with your engine torque and RPM. We'll level off there. So pretty simple cockpit. Um, overall, pretty easy to use. Uh, weapons up top. Uh, master arms up there as well, and uh, weapon stations for the active weapon stations there. And uh, we're going to turn on the reticle just to have it and uh, all right it looks like we're stable and we'll go ahead and turn on that engine put that engine back to run and oops, at this point we can slide our rpm lever full forward which is what the manual suggested obviously with any of the warbirds uh, prop aircraft you'll want to adjust the rpm levers as well as your uh, throttle levers to make sure everything stays in the green as you're uh, doing things. Uh, we'll just run outside here to the listen to the sounds. I have no idea what the real one sounds like uh, in person, so it sounds like a turboprop twin to me. Uh, 
else can you do? Alright, brick check there. We'll go ahead and put uh, one not half flaps in here. We'll uh, just right there. And uh, that's also indicated uh, right there as well. So we'll have that set up for takeoff. And let's go ahead and start our taxi out here. Remember where I'm at. Just keep in mind, you got to use the brakes to to steer. Clear that here. I don't want people too carried away with the speed. So 100 knots is the recommended takeoff speed for the Bronco. Um, and the last takeoff I did was, I mean, it was during your hands off. This thing flies really well, um, which I'm cool with. Uh, makes it a little bit easier to take in the views. Uh, <laughs> I can't, can't really complain. Let's get lined up here. Lined up here and let it roll forward. Try to get that nose wheel as straight as we can before we take our start up here. Hold the brakes. Bring that RPM, make sure it stays in the green. And let's get off the brakes here and off we go. We're watching for 100 knots here on the altimeter or the uh, speedometer. Which is about the three o'clock position. There's 100 knots. We can start a rotation. Up we go. Landing gear is coming up, and flaps are coming up to normal. We'll adjust our RPMs and throttle to keep it in the green. There you have it, we're in the air, the Bronco. Um, it's, it's that simple. Um, so for the, uh, I did put rockets on here so I can show you that. I'll go master arm on. And I believe I have them on two and four. And there they go, <laughs> rocket's working. Um, then armed guns as well since I have those two. I'll show you what I mean about the accuracy of the rockets here. Um, let's get a little, get a little altitude on us here. As we're climbing out, I'll give you guys a flyby here just so you can hear it. Pretty sweet. rockets on a building over here. Just, I'll put it where, where, wherever the reticle is looking. I'll uh, get with that. So you can see how accurate the uh, things are working. There you go. I mean, how, how cool is that? Um, can of works. So this is going to be a lot of fun. There's bombs. You have some other HE rockets that you can shoot as well. You can carry four pods of rockets. Um, pretty awesome little airplane. And uh, man, is it! It is an absolutely blast to fly too. It's kind of like flying a, a Huey with wings. <laughs> That's a little bit faster, although it it uh, you know it, it kind of runs like one too, um, which I'm I'm perfectly fine with. As everybody knows on my channel, I, I fly the Huey a lot, so um, I think this is going to be a really fun aircraft for a lot of folks. And great job, uh, developers. Um, for putting this thing together, and I can only see it getting better as uh, as time goes on, as you guys improve the, uh, the mod as it goes, yeah, as it always does. There's always going to be bugs and things that got to get worked out. You know, that's part of it. And uh, let's see, let's dive onto a target here. I don't have any targets on this map, but I'm just going to show you. There's some rockets. See if we can not die. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
well, you know, what would be my uh, first video of the Bronco without me going down in the flin flames? <laughs> uh, I hope everybody enjoyed it, and I uh, hope everybody enjoys the mod. It is going to be a lot of fun, and uh, I'll put the links in the uh, description on where to find it and the Discord. And uh, everybody have a good one.